Wow. We just got big news that Bungie has laid off 17% of its workforce. This equates to around 220 people. Shocking news on the heels of Destiny's latest DLC, The Final Shape, which saw massive success and accolades. Bungie puts out a letter explaining the move and the letter is telling. It references the synergies, restructuring and more integration with Sony. Hmm. That last part is very, very interesting. It's no secret that Sony was not pleased with their massive target missed in 2023. This saw the company, Bungie, only reach 50% of its projected revenue goals. So what is going on here? Has Sony laid the official smackdown on Bungie? We tackle all this in the next installment of The Spiel, our gaming hot topic video series. Let's get into this one right now. Yeah. What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It is your boy, MM2K of Geeks, Cloud Dosage, Hard Knock Digital Culture. In here, MM2K Gaming back again with another episode of The Spill. This is where we talk about the latest hot button topic in the world of gaming. And oh my gosh, do we not have a big one for you today? I mean, <laughs> I was totally working on something different. You know what I'm saying? And we'll bring that out for you guys tomorrow. Um, and I think the members will get a sneak peek at it first, but I was not expecting this at all. This is huge. What am I talking about? Well, today's video is huge bungee shakeup. See, Sony steps in with force. Yeah, this is one of those uh, MM2K rants that, that might be epic. Let's see, let's see how I feel. Let's see how I, I gel into this one. But before we go any further, do us a huge favor, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and rock those bells for notifications, please. So you know when we're dropping these doses. Okay, in order for me to break this down in a way that I think covers this from 5,000 feet without taking all day to do so, I first wanna talk about the story, the history and you know, the dissatisfaction that was clear, which was paramount from Sony and Hiroki to Toki um, and then once we jump from there, I want to talk about what likely caused this based upon all those events. And then lastly, we'll, we'll go to our closing. But first, let me do this. Let's go to the summary of the story. This isn't, uh, this is a letter quote unquote from Pete Parsons. I'm just going to read you the first part because later in this video, we're, we're going to like really parse down whatever everything that's happened uh, with GameIndustry.biz's article, which I think really parses this very well. So Pete Parsons says, look, this morning, I'm sharing with all of you some of the most difficult changes we've ever had to make as a studio due to rising costs of development and industry shifts, as well as enduring economic conditions. It has become clear that we need to make substantial changes to our cost structure and focus development efforts entirely on Destiny and Marathon. That means beginning today, 220 of our roles will be eliminated, representing roughly 17% of our studio's workforce. Wow. Now, for those of you that don't understand why all this is happening, let's run you down through the history here. All right. So as we all know, Destiny developer Bungie was purchased by Sony I believe in 2022 for a whopping $3.6 billion. That's a lot of money for Sony. It's again, Sony's not Microsoft. They don't have all this infinite, you know, treasure trove of cash like they do. They're, they're a smaller company, smaller market cap, um, but they're not poor, but 3.6 billion for a video game studio. That was huge for them, right? And it seemed like Sony I mean, or Bungie's purpose rather was they were gonna do oversight on the games as a service to you got to remember to because of the aforementioned apk you know that sent sony into a frenzy because they're like hold on we, we could be losing call of duty we could be losing overwatch and, and, and that's why i think we, we we're, we're seeing concord being pushed out there but that's we we've talked about that in various other videos but there was a panic at sony they remember they lost what i think it was was it 20 billion in stock value valuation they lost that overnight just at the announcement of the APK deal. So it was paramount for Sony to figure out a counter move to deal with the potential losses in these major games, um, games as a service that is, that would impact the company's bottom line. 
part of that strategy was you know bungie doing oversight not just sony reaping the rewards of destiny and destiny dlc and stuff like that but the bigger purpose was well, a big purpose along that was bungie to sit alongside sie and look at their games as a service attempts and give some oversight and give some much needed help um on these games right um and so that part seemed to be you know making its moves and all that stuff but the other equally important part which was revenue from destiny was falling apart like we saw according to this article right here we saw that destiny 2 is missing bungie's revenue targets by nearly 50 percent destiny 2 is missing bungie bungie's annual rev revenue targets by nearly 50 percent leading to layoffs of around 100 developers that include some 20-year bungie rev uh, uh, um, uh, veterans and this is coming courtesy of um tweak town where the story says according to a new report from Bloomberg, Bungie has laid off around 8% of its staff or 100 people. There's multiple reasons for this decision, including the current inflation driven economic environment, but the chief reason may be related to Destiny 2's performance. The badly received Destiny 2 Lightfall expansion has had a cascading effect on Bungie's business, especially as more hit games released throughout 2023. And a negative segment around Lightfall has led to a drop of Destiny 2's player count. Revenues are also on track to miss Bungie's internal projections by 45%. That's a big problem for Bungie, who relies on Destiny 2's recurring microtransaction revenues to maintain course as it develops new expansions for the live game and if it if that's a pain piece for destiny then you know that's a sore spot for sony again who just spent 3.6 billion for the company so that has led to this not that ad from pc gamer but this article from pc gamer that reads sony isn't happy with bungie playstation boss wants more accountability from the studio on money and deadlines sie chairman hiroki totoki said that uh, during the company's recent um earnings call that everyone needs to get on the same page now um you know hiroki had brought up that um some of overall at sie that some of the employees may not necessarily understand how the respective efforts quote tie into the overall growth sustainable profit generation and higher margins but when it got to bungie this is what he had to say when it came to bungie he said i visited bungie studios and i had meetings with the management team now this is in february of 2024 he's making this comment and i saw that employees were working at the studios the employees that were working there were highly motivated showing great creativity as well as an impressive knowledge of live services he said however i also felt that there was room for improvement from a business perspective with regarding to areas such as the use of business expenses and assuming accountability for development timelines i hope to continue the dialogue and come up with some good solutions and pc gamer even says here the writer of this article says i'm not an investment analyst but i know a veiled threat when i see one <laughs> and we know it too and guess what that led to led to today the story as laid out from gameindustry.business bungie lays off an additional 220 staff from last year today they're laying off 220 staff acknowledging it was overly ambitious 155 people also moved to sie with another 75 again are moved to work with playstation studios so you're seeing not only layoffs, but you're seeing some crazy integration. Let's go through the story real quick. And so we can talk about on the back end. Bungie is laying off 220 developers at 17% of its overall headcount. Bungie boss Pete Parsons says that the cuts are needed to make substantial changes to our cost structure and focus development efforts entirely on Destiny and Marathon. This morning, I'm sharing with all of you some of the most difficult changes we've ever had to make as a studio, Parson wrote in a statement posted to the studio's official website. Due to rising costs of development and industry shifts, as well as enduring economic conditions, it has become clear that we need to make substantial changes to our cost structure and focus development efforts entirely on Destiny and Marathon. We read that earlier off the uh, Twitter post. 
These actions will affect every level of the company, including most of our executive and senior leader roles. Parsons added. So this is, they're not just going to chop you down at the knees, they're chopping at the top too. Today is a difficult and painful day, especially for our departing colleagues, all of which have made important and valuable contributions to Bungie. Our goal is to support them with the utmost care and respect for everyone affected by this job reduction. We will be offering generous exit packages, including severance bonus and health coverage. The statement continues. I realize all of this is hard news, especially following the success that we've had with the final shape. But as we've navigated the broader economic realities of the, over the last year, and after exhausting all our mitigation options, this has become a necessary decision to refocus our studio and our business with more realistic and viable financials. Parsons added that as of today, an additional 155 roles are moving into Sony Interactive Entertainment. That's around 12% of our staff to deepen Bungie's integration with Sony. And then another 75 people are gonna move into work with PlayStation Studios leadership to spin out on our incubation projects, an action game set in a brand new science fantasy universe to form a new studio with PlayStation Studios to continue its promising development. SIE has worked tirelessly with us to identify roles for as many of our people as possible, enabling us to save a great deal of talent that would otherwise have been affected by the reduction in forces, Parson said. I think we'll, we'll we'll stop right there okay so let's go to part two of this or part three however you want to look at it what likely happened first and foremost Hiroki Totoki head of SIE and still I believe he's still the chief financial officer for Sony altogether we we read his comments they were blunt they weren't they they, they weren't you know demeaning but they were blunt and they were a veiled threat. And he said that inaction was taken, right? Um, it has been said for years that um, Bungie has a problem with sustainability. I know a lot of us do not like, um, a lot of us do not like um, Activision Blizzard, right? We don't care for them. And I understand it, because I don't care for them either. Um, they're, they, they're as slimy as slimy can get. That being said, uh, they even did them wrong. How do you do someone slimy wrong? Um, they didn't live up to the standards of their deals. They didn't sustain their parts of the deal. And they actually just, just fleeced Activision Blizzard and, and bounced, right? And then they get into a deal with Sony. Sony sees a need, they see a need. And again, they're not living up to their potential of the deal but sony's like nah <laughs> no we've seen this story before you are not gonna fall short 40 to 50 45 to 50 percent of your revenue goals and then just roll on us oh no so they wrote just like how activision did they wrote in stipulations right that they uh need to do certain things if they don't want sie taking over bungie in totality because they're working in tandem in so many ways even though they're they're owned by sony this time, unlike Activision Blizzard, instead of just making a veiled threat, if you don't hit a specific number, then we're going to do this. Sony said no. In advance to us, in, in advance to us doing a, a, a possible takeover, we're going to start converting now. We want to show you that we mean business. We're not playing with you. And therefore, they've stepped in. Hiroki Totoki is not playing. So that veiled threat, he is fully enacting. Um, the restructuring look they've even even before the takeover now there could be a takeover happening let me, let me be very clear it doesn't look like it because I don't see any indications of uh, a serious restructuring of their that deal and them being absorbed happening but if a takeover is happening wow all this you know <laughs> that, that even cements this even further but even if a, if a takeover isn't happening that's more eye-opening they're not playing there's they're setting the groundwork for a takeover which is even more jarring, right? Um, and th they've made cuts at the executive level. Because here's the thing, when it comes to Japanese business culture, it's very paramount within their culture that 
leadership transitions have to happen when there are failures they don't they're not the type that go and blame their employees first like out west we blame our employees first and then we want to make uh procedure changes they don't do that in, in, in japan leadership always has to to fall on the sword first right and then lastly the, the fusion of the game studios like I, I think it's an awesome notion that out of all of this unfortunate circumstances with layoffs and stuff like that that they saw some stuff that was just quote unquote incubating at Bungie and was like what are you doing with this nothing because you, you can't manage yourself we'll help you come with us bring give us some people permanently so they did so there's some people that could have been terminated as well or laid off as well that they said no no so instead of it being 300 220 people it could have been 370 but they said no give us 150 of those people we're going to create a new studio and then you're going to give us and then you're going to lend us 75 people to help with this project that's why i don't think a full takeover happened because they would have just took over bungie and just said okay this section is going to work on this and this section is going to work on that they said no Give us 150 people, 75 people you will use, we, we will utilize in, in like the um, oversight process, right? Because so they, they can familiarize us with this because this looks promising and there's no way you should be sitting on this. Here's my closing. This is huge news. And hopefully without sounding too dismissive of the jobs laws, in my opinion, this is huge news in a needed way for Sony. Bungie and PlayStation. Look, fact of the matter is enough evidence out there to show this Bungie has run amok with the purse strings and deals since the departure from Microsoft. And as slimy as Activision is, they still use the hell out of them. Wow, that says a lot about you if you can get slimier than the slimiest people out there. It looks like they thought it would be rinse and repeat with Sony. But here's the thing. Like we said earlier, Sony paid a whopping $3.6 billion for Bungie. Even though that that's dwarfed by the APK deal, which was around 70 to 75 billion, right? After everything is said and done, that's still a lot of cheese for a company with the market cap of Sony. So simply sitting here alongside Jim Ryan and telling Naughty Dog, you don't you, you don't know what you're getting into with facts. You might want to rethink this or one good DLC isn't good enough. This deal needs to pay off. It needs to pay off for gamers, which will then pay off for Sony. And I'm glad to see the recognition of that and the shrewd action to back it up. Clearly the best thing to come out of PlayStation's future proofing news all year in 2024. Because we're getting a new game, we're getting a new studio, and we're finally seeing Bungie guard railed and managed the way that they needed to be managed instead of running amok. I think this is positive news despite the layoffs. And that's it from your boy. Let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below. Because like I always say, here's what I think. But if you did like what I had to say, check out the links below the following. They will lead you to Hard Knock Digital Culture, Cloud Dosage, and here in 2K Gaming. Until next time, have a wonderful gaming day. Peace.